heavyweight champion with a big 69-61 win over Pine Grove. The victory gave the Crusaders their first district championship in nine years. Tonight, they begin the PIAA Eastern Regional with Upper Dauphin from District 3. It's the first round of PIAA 2A State Basketball. Upper Dauphin, Notre Dame on RCN 4. Next. From the Parkland Gymnasium in Orfield, Pennsylvania, RCN4 Sports presents live coverage of the PIAA State Basketball Championships. It's boys 2A in the first round this afternoon, and it features the Trojans of Upper, of Upper Dauphin, the number three team out of District 3, 25 and 3 on the year. They were 18 and 0 in their league this year. They'll take on the Notre Dame Crusaders, 20 and 7 overall. Their head coach, Pat Boyle, seven years. Mike Kalman is the head coach of the Trojans in his first year. Hello, everybody. Gary Laubach, Dick Tracy, Paul Plattenberg is with us to help with the numbers as we welcome you to this afternoon's game. And, you know, put a seatbelt around your chair. These two teams together average more points than Tracy's team scored in a year. 134 points. 134 points as the Trojans average 70.6, Notre Dame 64.2. Dick, I hope your neck muscles are in good shape. Gary, I've never been so happy for two sets of uniforms, different colors, because they're mirrors of each other. Offensively, go, go, go. Defensively, in your face, constantly. Size, both teams mm -hmm. mediocre or less in size of each other. They said, in fact, the, the coach was telling us, oh, we'll even play like Notre Dame. You couldn't mistake it. Both teams count on their guards to do the scoring. Justin Antis and Robbie Miller together are averaging about 38 points a ball game. Antis at 21 and Miller right around 17. Notre Dame, of course, they count on Jeff Daly, who averages 19 points a ball game to do the bulk of their scoring, along with Reed Klotz, who's right around 13 point five points per game this one should be exciting flat out action up and down the floor should be a very interesting one stay with us when we come back we'll have today's starting lineups it'll be the trojans of upper dauphin against the crusaders of notre dame piaa state basketball justice one of the fastest growing career opportunities allentown business school can get you there the criminal justice program at allentown can prepare you for an important career where you can make a difference financial aid available for those who qualify call toll free 888-806-0808 that's 888-806-0808 I remember walking away from the car feeling we could have died. The car actually went end over end, finally stopping on its top. You feel the car being thrown around, and you just wait for that final moment. The police officer said to me, this car saved your life. I said, I know it did. Volvo. 75 years of building life. We are back just as the Trojans are being introduced. First out will be number 21, Justin Antis. Antis is a six-foot junior, averaging 21.4 points a game. Number 22 is Chad Dietrich, 5'9", senior, averaging three points per ball game. Next out will be number 30, Robbie Miller, a 5'10", senior. Robbie's averaging 16.9 points a game. Number 41 is Anthony Weaver. He is a 5'11 senior, averaging 10.5 a game. And number 45, Justin Shiley, will be coming into your picture momentarily. 6'2 junior, 5.2 points a game. Michael Cowan, the head coach in his first year, spent a lot of years as the Line Mountain Girls basketball coach. 25-3 on the year for the Crusaders of Notre Dame. First out will be number four, 6'2 junior, Reed Klotz. 
Came coming off a 20-point ball game against Pine Grove. Notre Dame, of course, is your District 11 champion. 15 is Ryan McAvoy, a 5'11", senior, 7.2 points per game. Next out, the point guard. With 1,103 points, Jeff Daly, 5'9", junior, 19 points a game, coming off a 25-point effort against Pine Grove. 21 is Nathaniel Mass, the 6'1", senior, 5 points a game. And number 22, Dan Tavani. Danny's a 5'10", junior, averaging 4.3 points per game. Notre Dame is coached by Pat Boyle. There's Patrick in his seventh season, 121 and 66 in his career. His is, as we uh, take a look at the officials for tonight's contest or this afternoon's game, Jim Donnell, Jim Bergen, and Kevin Francis. These guys are from District 4. They are out of the Williamsport area. And we got a decent crowd on hand here again for this ball game. If you just tuned in, Central Catholic girls had a little bit of a scare today for three periods. At the end of three quarters, they led only by six points, but then they won the game running away by 24, 49 to 25 as uh, going up against Susquehanna. Susquehanna scored one point in the entire fourth quarter. That a foul shot with about a minute with 48 seconds to go in the fourth period. Look at this guy, the team that the team that's tapped out the ball. Everybody's back. So nobody expected to win it. <laughs> Notre Dame did. That's Tavani. 21 is Max. Notre Dame, of course, loves the triple. They have 203 of them. You can't trust these guys, guy. They could go ready. Starting in the zone. And they made five passes. <laughs> First shot by Jeff Daly will not go. And here come the Trojans. See their quickness right away. Losses to Reading Central, Williams Valley, and Nativity. That's it. Pull up jump shot. Daly. Daly drains it. I question my. Oh, here's the pressure. And they quickly get it down the floor, kick it out the mass. And there is a 14 foot jump shot, will not fall, taken by McAvoy. Good strong board by Justin Shirely. The second. He has both of them. Yeah. Antes, who uh, wears number 21, needs 60 points for a thousand. He's only a junior, so he'll get it. Kind of knifing and cutting inside, going under everybody was Dietrich. He couldn't get it to fall. And we're going to get our first foul of the basketball game, and it will be indeed against the Trojans. And better off getting called for a walk. You saw the foul. The foul's on Weaver. 70.4 points a game, Gary. That is a lot of score. Well, that's an understatement coming from you. No, that's amazing. <laughs> and, and I look, you know, see, I question as well. I asked the TA, I said, you lost to two District 11 Class A teams. And he said, yeah, we we're good. We avenged one of those. Uh, the uh, the possibility was by 19. A 16-point ball game got Dick's attention. <laughs> that was the third missed shot by Notre Dame. And we're going to get one of those over-the-top calls. And Well, this is on Anthony Weaver, Dick. He's got two already. Oh. Alex Peter will come into the ball game. Alex Peters is a six-foot junior, averaging one point a game. And I asked him about his third loss. And, and, and that was a big blowout. That was Reading Central Catholic, of course, who's uh, the one team out of District 3. But in the process, only scored 26 points. 22. They lost I'm by they, uh, yeah, they lost by, yeah. Or and, four, four. and that's why I'm looking at a team that scored 70. You know, something really happened. He said it was the, the new building in Hershey. It was in the district semifinal. He said they were in all. And he said Reading Central was really big. The winner of this will get either Reading Central or Riverside. Trojans are in his own, 2-1-2. Two, two. Notre Dame pinging around, Daly drains the triple. All right, Notre Dame's back in sync. The 86th triple of the year by Jeff Daly. Coming into the game will be number 20, Kyle Warner, as you get a look at Daly's three. 
Kyle is a 5'10 junior, averaging 3.6 a game. That three from Daly, certainly no surprise. Well, we have a foul off the ball against the Trojans. This will be on Warner, who just came into the game. That was away from the basketball. So far away that we can't even show it to you. Take a look at uh, Frank Tavani's kid. Frank's in the house, Frank's in the house and uh, Danny, of course, uh, has made the transition pretty nicely from football to basketball. Pinging it around, and Notre Dame will get an easy one out of Reed Klotz. Boy, quite evident early about both teams being able to move the ball so well. That's a bad spot to stop your dribble. And not a much better one to receive the pass. Bad spacing and bad location by the Trojans. <laughs> Dick, talk about that area. Oh, that's that trap area. You know, you're playing with a hash mark. You worry just a little bit about that. And while you're worrying about that, here comes the double and the, and the sideline. You know, it takes half of the court to work with away from it. Oh, Staley comes off right another on. screen, and it was there, would not drop. Rebound by Peters. 5-2. So neither team has been able to find their eye here. We guaranteed you a whole bunch of points, and so far we don't have them. Pull-up jump shot. That is great. Pretty jump shot by Andy. Boy, great form. Great form. Down the floor, Klotz, Reed tries to drop the ball off to McAvoy, and it's going to be Trojan basketball. First turnover by Notre Dame. Coach Cowan said we force turnovers and force them and force them. They get about 17 points off the bench, Gary. That, that's an extreme amount. Antis, who uh, has the basketball, had 27 against the lone Catholic, and Robbie Miller had 22. Miller yet to get on the board. In fact, I don't think he's uh, had any shot opportunity. There he is right there. Robbie into the paint. Pull-up jumper, and he drains it. Off balance, going away. And the Trojans back on top, 6-5. Wholesale substitutions coming in on the steal turnover. There goes Robbie Miller off his knee, and that is going to be... Trojan basketball, and here come a whole slew of players. Chad Lilly for Notre Dame, the 6'1 sophomore, as he had 10 points and six assists against Pine Grove, and Dick the replay. You'll see it here again versus the pressure defense. Used the dribble an awful lot on his way to the basket. That's Mark Oxidine into the game, number 15. Also Christopher Kessler, number 33 for Pine Grove. So. Dick certainly, uh, Mike Cowden has gone deep already. Yeah, this is after sixth and seventh men enter, Gary, so he's already at 10. That shot will not drop. Rebound, a good one by Klotz. Lilly. Back cut by Mass, got a new one and ah, he was open. Klotz doing some twisting. Klotz will get the shot. Reed outside, and he knew it all the way. Reed Klotz with his 39th triple. There's the release. And we're going to get a Notre Dame foul. And Boy, that is a weapon anymore. A team starts congratulating themselves, Dick, on a yep. good bucket, and you throw the home run ball. You know, especially if it's a perimeter shot. Guy. It takes a little longer to come down through that net, and all of a sudden, there go the horses. I look like I'm watching Lafayette College of a year ago. Here, here comes three more Trojans into the game. As Mike Cowan is running them in and out, at the line is Oxidine. When he misses the foul shot. He's supposed to get two, and he will. As Shiley back in, Dietrich back in. And one more waiting to get in. I think it's Robbie Moore. And both foul shots missed. Six 
66% foul shooters. Two out of three, certainly didn't see it there. Oxidine, 69%. We didn't see that there either. Real hustlers. Miller in, Oxendine out. Eight six, Crusaders. Salisbury playing today at Mansfield. They're so far away they had to stay overnight. They're taking on Wyalusing Valley. That knife inside won't go, and I think we're going to get a foul on McAvoy on the play. I believe after is where he committed it. Guy really took a knife and drive, slicing drive, had too much. He just got going too fast, and right there's the. The foul on the, on the rebound. Called compounding the air. Now pressure at the other end by the Crusaders. Stepping in bounds on the inbounds pass was Chad Dietrich. That's a turnover. Well, we're seeing the tempo, but we certainly aren't seeing the offense. Second turnover by the Trojans. They get a foul here, I believe, against Notre Dame. And it'll be on Chad Lilly, his first team serve. Moving the screen, they got a play. Well, we've seen that call plenty of times this year. Oh, oh good geez. defense. The steal by McAvoy. McAvoy, a uh, great heady player. Anticipates, anticipated well there. Daly outside, drains his second of the ball game, his 87th of the season. Daly now with 1,109 points. He's a junior. Nice back cut, and up and in. Kind of an awkward shot by Anthony, but Weaver puts it up and in for his second field goal. And they want a trap, they don't get it. Trojan fans wanted to walk. They didn't get that either. Basket missed by Lilly. He gets his own rebound. McAvoy and Daly. Fox. Way outside. Doesn't go. Oh, my. What a move what a by nice. Chad Lilly. And now we're starting to move up and down the floor. Basket by Antis. 13-10. Dick, you hanging in there? Absolutely. Right. Enjoying it. Just checking. And I don't like the stoppages, Gary. Some of the offense is being taken away by, uh, well, pretty good pressure to the opponent, but unforced turnovers right now. That foul is on answer. His first. And there you saw the little bit of a ticky-tack foul. So Anta sits down, certainly uh, Mike Count and uses his whole bench. He's had nine guys in and out already. Ooh, it's a bad pass they got away with, right off the sneaker. Oh, they're back in that zone, of course. That gives Daly a lot more room to work. Final 45 seconds. Off of a Trojan. Notre Dame will keep it. As you get a look at the Notre Dame Brain Trust. Here comes Daly. And I think they might be interested in one shot only. Jeff Daly, the newly crowned colonial scoring leader this year and they win two in a row that's right he'll be back to haunt them again i'm pulling opponents next year three clots is back next year also Navani's back next year lily back for two more years there we go doug weaver with that broken foot only a soft daily he'll pull it up and he'll he was right on line when it didn't drop Lilly, and that will not go, and that's the way the first period will come to a close. 13-10. Let's take a look at Jeff Daly. We'll be back.
When you look at the numbers, it's easy to see why Scott Chrysler is the Valley's fastest growing Chrysler dealer. With over 100 minivans, 20 Sebring convertibles, and 10 PT cruisers in stock, no one has a better selection. And Scott is online 24-7, where the perfect car is always at your fingertips. Plus, there's Scott's 25-year history of being the most trusted name in the Valley. For overall value, Scott Chrysler is number one. Visit us on the Lehigh Street Auto Mile or online at scottcars.com. Family Prescription Center in Bethlehem remembers when your pharmacist knew your name and your prescription needs. We've been serving your community for more than 111 years. Today, Family Prescription Center offers free delivery, old-fashioned customer service, and the best of today's technology. I tell my friends to go there. Call us to see how we can fulfill your prescription needs. 439 Wyandotte Street in Bethlehem. You won't just be another customer, you'll be like the family. First half brought to you by Atlanta Metro. They'll take you to school, work, shopping, doctors, visits, more. Ride the bus all day, $2, seniors ride free. During off-peak hours, take the bus and you'll agree. Atlanta Metro is making it easy. The Trojans turn it over on their first possession as Dan Tavani back in, and Nathaniel Mast will get a little bit of a rest. On a play that uh, gave them a layup earlier in the game. A little back cut by out of the corner. And missed. Upper Dolphin shot 71% in the first quarter, 5 for 7. Notre Dame 36%. They were 5 for 14. There's a steal by the Trojans and the bucket by Robbie Miller. Upper Dolphin with three turnovers. Notre Dame two in the quarter, just to the third now that led to a basket. Rebounding. Upper Dolphin five, Notre Dame seven. Lily. Lily with three rebounds. But he didn't finish that layup. And the Trojans can get the lead. Miller, 17 feet away, doesn't go. Slapped around and up and in as Shiley takes the loose ball and puts it in. And the Trojans on top. Just an inch to that one loose. Fourth lead change already, maybe the fifth. Jeff Daly hits another triple. Daly has three of them. Thrown away, Notre Dame yeah, ball. Right. Doug Weaver, the sophomore in, 5'8", 4.3 a game. Five turnovers by the Trojans. Very, very high on Weaver, Gary. He lost so much playing time with a broken foot. Like Lilly, only a sophomore. Devaney inside, kicks it back outside. So it's Weaver, Tavani, Lilly, Plotz, and Daly in for Notre Dame. The Trojans counter with Weaver, Shiley, Dietrich, Miller, and Ante. Notre Dame out of the corner for three. That will not drop for Klotz. Clapped up in the air, but the Trojans gather it up. Dietrich working against Weaver. 15 feet away, and that will not drop. As Weaver with a flat-footed shot. Daly has four rebounds in the game. And wide open is Klotz. Puts it up and in on a good look from Weaver. Oh, ho. Unwrap, gonna get a timeout. Full timeout called by Mike Cannon. As we will keep it right here. The last time Upper Dauphin was in the PIAA, it was in 1991. They lost that first round game. They have had a 14 game winning streak this year and here are the Crusaders in action. Dick? Picking up that loose ball after a double team and finding Klotz all alone under the basket. Notre Dame, too, lost in their first round in 2000. That's the last time they've been in the PIAA playoffs. They lost to DeLone Catholic, and they lost in the second round in 1994. As you got to look at Tony Corey, the athletic director at Notre Dame. I love this line, uh, Coach, Coach Count on Gary's line window. We're probably even less patient than Notre Dame yeah. on offense. <laughs> 
There's Mike Cop, Charlie Post. They got a win under their belt this afternoon. A little bit of a scare, not, uh, not a big one. Notre Dame girls were defeated last night as uh, Natamata's season came to a close as they were beaten by Elmer Myers by a 56 to 45 score. Boys are up by four. Jeff Daly. Boys got a nice looking shot. That again, a little bit short as it hit the front of the rim. And Notre Dame comes up with another steal. Lilly on the move. Lilly showing his dribbling skills. Oh, that's about all you can do with the ball while you're dribbling. Out of the corner, and they don't get it down as Weaver tried to nail it. Dick Lilly went crossover behind his back between his legs and threw a pass. He did everything in the open court and found the open man beside. Take a look at this. There, there's the crossover. There's the behind the back. Let's go between my legs. Right there between the legs. Throw a pass. That was called on Chad Lilly. That's his second. Team's fourth, and Chad will get a breather. Fouls on Notre Dame. It'll be on Savani. Here comes that trap. Ooh, I don't know. Well, he went too far. He stepped in too far. If he holds his ground, I think he gets the call. Fifth against Notre Dame. Kyle Warner with the basketball. Out of bounds. And here comes 21, Nathaniel Mast. This will replace Weaver. Notre Dame doing a, a, a same good job at the Mike Ed Steve Gary, playing those passing lanes. Really anticipate. These teams look pretty evenly matched. Way outside by Warner, that won't go. Rebound, McAvoy. Nick, for a team that's had 153 threes, they don't have any today. And there's a bonus when you get it out of Nathaniel Mass, his 18th of the year. And again, they try to fast break and they end up getting it anyway. Robbie Miller. Boy, don't go patting yourself on the back. No, this team's scoring on you. Surprise, they're still in that zone, guys. I don't know if you can play man-to-man -man against Notre Dame. Too quick. Yeah, but how can you play zone and, and leave, leave open seams? Well, that's not supposed to happen. Plots. Oh, great passing. Great oh. passing. To Manny, the final passer to Daly, who shot it. Oh, that was good ball movement by the Crusaders. Coming off a screen, Antis can't get it down. It's going to be Notre Dame basketball. Watch this. One, two, three. Got to like that, Dick. Practically no look. That's how you beat a zone. That's right. Plots on a leaner. Plots and Daly have 20 of the 25 Notre Dame points. Largest lead of the game. Out of bounds. It'll be, no, it'll be Trojan ball. Opening up a very sizable lead here in the second quarter. And three more coming in for the Trojans. Good defense by Notre Dame. Well, they haven't given up anything easily except for some baskets after they have scored. 
It's Antis again, and he'll drain this one and get fouled by Daly. Jeff Daly's first. A rare possible four-point play. It's only a dude. It's only one or two. Boy, you talk about utilizing a bench. Both these guys, extremely well. At the line, Antis is an 83% free throw shooter. He has 65 triples on the season, and he doesn't get the foul shot. They are 0 for 3 from the line. Notre Dame by 7. There goes Tavani. Drops it off. Outside, masked again. Sets up no. And it's all black to get the rebound. Antis comes up with it. Quickly gets it down the floor. Boy, he's thinking shot all the way. Antis. Oh, left hand. Simply moved it over. Justin Antis at 21.4 coming in. See why. He has eight in this one. They steal it. First turnover off the press, and the shot of the layup missed by Oxidine. They have had trouble converting without the walk before the call. Notre Dame loses the basketball with their fifth turnover. Here comes Miller. Here comes Shiley. And there you see the walk. Ball away, he dropped. Boy, Weaver's shots are awkward looking, but he's got six points. Well, they can turn up the juice when they want. And Dick, you know they're gonna have fresh legs. Well, that's right. Deep enough for that. A little conscious of Daly's abilities now. And in 10. Out of the corner. Mass though. And here comes Antis again. Quickly down to Robbie Miller. Robbie no. Inside. Oh, they don't get it high enough on the board for Weaver. And uh, everybody got a little angry, and the correction was made. Here comes Alex Peters. Boy, this got the uh, house a little upset. Here you see the easy shots missed. And there's a foul. Foul will be on Dietrich. His first, that's only the fifth, against the team. And a few fans getting their referee <laughs> reviews in early. Notre Dame by three with 30 seconds on the clock. You get it in Daly's hand, you get it in Klotz's hand. That's where your three bombs will come from. The last four points have come from Upper Dauphin. And Notre Dame's going to call a timeout. It'll be a 30-second timeout. Let's take a look at uh, the Upper Dolphin fast break dick after Notre Dame scores. This has uh, been a good weapon for them. This is a uh, Parkland move down. Richie Fadger loves a shot, pose a little bit, and then off to the races. Couple of misses big uh, by Oxidine. Second time around. Oh, that was a walk. <laughs> and a bad shot. And get the third a rebound, the third attempt at it. Gotta look at Frank Devaney uh, in the stands. I don't think he was in that group or that group. Those are non Frank Devaney's. Frank had himself a pretty darn good recruiting year. 
including the Ohio All-State quarterbacks coming on campus. I think the Lafayette College Leopards will keep us busy next football season. Oh, man, Jeff Daly has a pretty, pretty shot. It's been his half, and that shot will not fall for Justin Shiley. It's Notre Dame up by 6, 28-22. Nobody more responsible than Jeff Daly. Stay with us. Criminal justice. One of the fastest growing career opportunities. Allentown Business School can get you there. The criminal justice program at Allentown can prepare you for an important career where you can make a difference. Financial aid available for those who qualify. Call toll free 888-806-0808. That's 888-806-0808. I remember walking away from the car feeling we could have died. The car actually went end over end, finally stopping on its top. You feel the car being thrown around, and you just wait for that final moment. The police officer said to me, this car saved your life. I said, I know it did. Volvo, 75 years of building life. RCN High Speed Internet is 50 times faster. RCN High Speed Internet. It's the lightning fast, the limited usage, fiber optic, always on way to surf the internet. RCN. Advantage you. Take $10 off every month for three months, plus pay $10 for installation. Save $69.95. Family Prescription Center in Bethlehem remembers when your pharmacist knew your name and your prescription needs. We've been serving your community for more than 111 years. Today, Family Prescription Center offers free delivery, old-fashioned customer service, and the best of today's technology. I tell my friends to go there. Call us to see how we can fulfill your prescription needs. 439 Wyandotte Street in Bethlehem. You won't just be another customer, you'll be like the family. GE brings good things to life at Kleckner & Son, Inc. in Whitehall and Emmaus. During their gigantic GE truckload sale, save big with great prices. Like new GE refrigerator technology with crushed ice and water filter, only $9.99. This GE top freezer, only $3.99. And this hot point washer dryer combo, only $5.49 for the pair. Hurry in for best selection. Trucks are arriving daily with new GE appliances at Kleckner & Son, Inc. 2177 MacArthur Road in Whitehall and 575 Chestnut Street, Emmaus. If Shoremark Anything Goes carpet is tough enough to withstand the foot traffic of Atlantis International Airport, imagine how great it will look in your home. Shoremark Anything Goes won't mat or crush like other carpets. It's the best performing carpet you can buy. So you can count on lasting beauty, even if your home's like Grand Central Station. Shoremark, a name you can stand on. Different? It's okay to be different. The Suzuki Ario from Lehigh Valley Suzuki is different. With all the room you're looking for and more standard horsepower than the Toyota Matrix. At $179 a month and a 7-year, 100,000-mile warranty, the Suzuki Ario is America's best value. I'd say that's different. The Suzuki Ario from Lehigh Valley Suzuki on the Lehigh Street Auto Mile. It's okay to be different. Well, that's just weird. Let's go get ya! Go get your code for quality to be the rest. They got cheesesteaks, french fries, the famous Yako hot dog is known worldwide. Let's go get your code. The secret sauce is one of a kind. Yako's and Allentown tradition. Welcome back. Good basketball game as promised. It's 2A boys and Notre Dame on top by six. As a big triple out of the corner from Jeff Daly. Got him that lead with about two seconds to go in the first half. And Dick, these teams have certainly shown signs of really pushing the ball up and down the floor. They've done it on occasion. 
uh, on other occasions, uh, it's been some pretty good defense. We have seen spurts. We've seen spurts of, you know, paced offense. We've seen spurts of threes, perimeter game, uh, fast break, off, off the release, things like that. You know, all the up-tempo factors, Gary, but I think the rash of turnovers unforced is really turning the offense down. You're talking about two teams, both teams, that will not meet their offensive average continuing to scoring pace. Well, it certainly looks that way right now. Let's take a look at the individual numbers. And Notre Dame, no surprise, Dick. It's Daly and it's Klotz. They're putting the points on the board. Yeah, you, you wonder why Daly would be allowed to get his hands on the ball at all, guys. I don't care what defense you're playing him. You just take him, take him out of the game for a shot. Look at the difference. And those Daly, most of those 14 are Daly's from perimeter. You have to realize that Antes, even though he has eight points up there on the board, he averages 21.4. So he's not getting the kind of numbers he's used to in the first half. And Robbie Miller averages almost 17. He's not getting those numbers either. And one would expect that the two of them will be a little bit more involved in second half action. Let's take a look at the team numbers. Of course, RJ Carpet Connection brings us our halftime stats. And Dick, uh, certainly uh, the Trojans are shooting the ball pretty well at 48%, but so is Notre Dame. But look at the triples for Notre Dame. Yeah, well, and what you're saying, you know, you're talking 18 nothing right there on, on the triple game. And the field goal attempts by Upper Dog has to be surprising. I mean, he's averaging 70-point four guard. He's going to have to get off more than 23, 23 field goal attempts in a game. Their big three-point game, absolutely zero. A surprise, they lead in boards 13-12, probably because Notre Dame is quite accurate. And we said coming in that uh, the Trojans had 153 threes on the year. They have zero tonight or to this afternoon, and Notre Dame came in with 203 threes but they have six of them, so they have utilized that part of their game. We're at halftime, 28-22 Crusaders. We'll have highlights for you right after this timeout. When you need a prescription filled, who do you turn to? Walter's Pharmacy. Walter's Pharmacy compounds prescriptions and takes filling prescriptions as their number one priority. At Walter's, you'll save time. Trust Walter's Pharmacy for convenience with free, fast delivery in the city of Allentown. You can visit walterspharmacy.net and email the pharmacist with questions. Since 1937, Walter's Pharmacy, making life easier through genuine care. GE brings good things to life at Kleckner & Son, Inc. in Whitehall and Emmaus. During their gigantic GE truckload sale, save big with great prices. Like new GE refrigerator technology with crushed ice and water filter, only $9.99. This GE top freezer, only $3.99. And this hot point washer-dryer combo, only $5.49 for the pair. Hurry in for best selection. Trucks are arriving daily with new GE appliances at Kleckner & Son, Inc. 2177 MacArthur Road in Whitehall and 575 Chestnut Street, Emmaus. We are back. We welcome you back. Notre Dame by six. And, of course, how have they done it? Well, let's take a look at the highlights. We'll start with the Trojans. And when you look at this team, Dick, you very often look at number 21, Justin Andes. Justin Andes, some great shooting form guy. Elevates real well and shoots the jumper at the top of that elevation. And, of course, they got a good first half, too, out of 41, Anthony Weaver. But here's Notre Dame on the steal. Very, very solid part of Notre Dame's game all year long has been Reed Klotz. And the junior there makes the penetration, but the turnover is the, is the result. Here's a little fade away. That's by Weaver. I think the turnover by Notre Dame was a low light. Notre Dame ball, let's go down to the other end. Entry, great, great no look pass, almost perfectly no look pass. That was the only two point field goal Daly had in the whole first half. He had a bunch of those, though. Jeff Daly with four threes. Oh, he's got great form, Dick. Oh, geez. He, he is what they call, you know, the pure natural shooter. There you saw the one. screen by Mast. You wondered how he got open, Dick. That's how he well, got open. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying he should not get the ball. Not for the shot, just shouldn't get the ball. There should be a denial there. Hey, you're down to three-point game with a possible, possible chance of getting the ball yet. All right, the halftime number is 28-22 in favor of Notre Dame. 
But obviously, uh, any team that can score 70.6 points a game can put them up in a hurry. And no lead is safe anymore in basketball with the three around. How good are they defensively? The Trojans give up 50.4 points. Notre Dame gives up 52.3. Notre Dame with that district championship win over Pine Grove by six. Daly with 25, Fox with 20, and Lilly with 10. They shot 63% in that ball game. That was their fifth district title. Putting it in play will be Justin Antis. As we get ready to start the second half. Remember, we have Parkland, Glenn Mills for you tonight at 7 o'clock. Remember, Notre Dame drew a bye, Gary, in the first round of the district. So only played two district games, 23 threes. 20, no, 15 threes in, in two games. Turnover by Upper Dolphin to start the second half. Inside, Cavani, no. Even he was surprised that one was that easy. That open. Sort of had a tough angle. Way outside, Antis. Back of iron doesn't go. Antis follow, and off the glass it does go. Antis with 10. Notre Dame with Daly and Klotz and Tavani and Mast and McAvoy. Countered by Antis, Dietrich, Miller, Weaver, and Shiley. So both teams come out with their starting lineups. Daly 16 feet away. Right on the money. That time a little drag fake left, comes back to the right. Nails it right at the top of the foul line. Absolutely pure jump shot. Going away wow. by Notre Dame. Again, in a bad spot on the floor. And Fox, no, kind of got his feet a little tangled up there and threw him off on the shot. So the Trojans avoid a bullet there. That shot does not go. Notre Dame almost turns it over. Crusaders by six. That cut, it's gross. Ooh. And they oh, get the shot. layup they've missed. Tavani to Mass. Doesn't go. Here comes Robbie Miller, jumper. That doesn't go. And we're going to get a foul, and this will be on Antis on the rebound. His first team, or his second team's first of the second half. Once again, Gary, the tempo is there. The scoring isn't. Really moving that ball rapidly. Notre Dame already missed three layups. And up at the other end, the, the quick shots. End result not there. So with all that action, nobody scored. Denial on Daly now. Daly, quick turnaround. Back of iron, good rebound, Mass. Mass with five ribbies. Daly again, that'll go. <laughs> Jeff Daly with 18 points, and we're not even three minutes into the third quarter. Notre Dame fans wanted to travel. Antis. Oh, it's a good block, and Antis went down hard. Good block by Notre Dame, I believe, by McAvoy. Yep. Oh, he swiped it. He took it away. Antis uh, still in pain. Took a shot in the side of the head. McAvoy's a lot, a lot of good characteristics, basketball senses, but uh, boy, he plays good D. Four two quarter in favor of Notre Dame. Daly, complete control of the basketball. Mass sets it up. Can't get it down. That was 
quite seen the out offensive output we expect. They were going to get a foul against Notre Dame. Offensive, no. Oh, they got called on Anthes. Well, one guy was set and one guy wasn't set. That's the third foul on Antis. We're going to get a timeout called by Upper Dolphin. That will be their second. It's a 30-second timeout. Headline News Local Edition. You know all about it. Monday through Friday, 24 and 54 past the hour, starting at 554. Headline News Local Edition, the news that matters to you. Central Catholic Valley View coming up after this ball game. Follow that up with Parkland Glen Mills. Follow that up with Allen Coatesville. Bob Watch. Dady and Chris Michael are there. We watched the end of the uh, Parkland walkthrough this morning, Gary. Well, now watching that closer, Dick, Ante's head hit the knee of McAvoy as he came down. So he didn't get hit on the block shot. He got hit coming down on the floor. Well, that's a long 10 seconds. Second turnover by Notre Dame. Lily in, Cavani out. Spent pressure, so then one more ball handler in there. It's been a struggle for the Trojans. He's gonna go against Notre Dame too. No, it's gonna get the Trojans. That's gonna be their third team foul. That's against Kessler. 33, the call is on. Right there, setting a screen. Wow. That's not the game we're used nope. to, Dick. Nope. Oh, oh, that's a walk. Yeah, he won't take the step before he shot. And there's the call. Third Notre Dame turnover. You saw the two steps there very quickly. And there's a walk. Oh. They're at third. You know, Gary, they almost seem too fast, you know, for their own good. They're underway and moving really before they have ball control. It's been an ugly third quarter. 4-2. Slapped away, Notre Dame ball. <laughs> Lilly gets away, and it won't go down, but he gets his own rebound back. Puts it up and in. No block at all on the rebound. Quickly, Antis up, he gets fouled by Mast, Nathaniel second. Biggest lead of the night by Notre, or the day by Notre Dame. <laughs> See, no one blocked him at all. No one guarded him. He has a free jump shot with nobody on him and then a uh, free layup with nobody on him. You get a look at Antis, Justin, 0 for 1 from the foul line. He has 10 points. And he doesn't get it. They are 0 for 4 from the foul line. <laughs> Missed them both. Antis is coming out. Austin Markle in the game for the first time. Number 31, a six-foot sophomore. Notre Dame sticking to their defense 
play all the time, and that's a sticky man to man. Well, they've taken a team that averages 70.6. Yeah. And we're more than halfway through the third quarter. They've got 24 points and two points in the third quarter. Central Catholic girls today shut out their opponent in the fourth quarter. Oh. So there was 48 seconds to go, and then they gave up one foul shot. Dick, we've had a lot of walking today, and uh, Director Rick Dio suggested they take the Atlanta Metro, which, which is sponsoring our second half, but they wouldn't get that extra break for seniors who ride free. They would get, however, if they rode all day instead of walking, two bucks. We get a foul here on the Trojans. Again, it's Lily creating the stuff. Took on right across the chops on that. Shiley. Dick, it's not going to be too bad for Pat Boyle to start next year with Klotz, Lily, huh. Daly, and Tavani. And Weaver. Weaver only a soft with a broken it, yeah. foot. Boy. Already been mentioned by quite a few colonial coaches. That's Notre Dame's first foul shot. So they go 21 minutes and 17 seconds before they go to the foul line. Miss the shot and get the rebound. Those usually Ooh. drop for Jeff. Speaking of dropping, a couple of guys get dropped. Anty's going to feel like he was in a war. This is Anty's again. Watch this. They didn't call foul? Yeah, they did. It's on Mass. That's his third. Hey, look at this all tan up. Someone's going for a home run ball. Dietrich. Oh, great anticipation by McAvoy. And he got fouled, although uh, Ryan didn't want the call. <laughs> he smelled a layup by Notre Dame. He wasn't interested in the whistle. Foul on Dietrich. He says, you don't have to make that call. Don't make that call. We're going to get a layup. Five team fouls now on the Trojans. Boy, this is not the game we expect. No. Disregard anything Dick and I said during <laughs> pregame. <laughs> Paul, Pla Paul Plattenberg said he usually does. <laughs> Even the crispness to the other phase of the game has gone down. Yeah. It's Even the crowd is quiet. That wasn't pretty. Antes again. Boy, he disregards his body. He has a dozen. Lily. Lily up. No. Lily up. Yes. Okay, he must have more second shot baskets. And there's a quick bucket by Robbie Miller. Lily again. Huh. Yeah, that same headline in the paper every game he plays. Off the bench, Chad Lily. Foul, Lily. And Dick, they have used this play a few times today. Have they ever? But Tavani hustling like crazy to get back. He didn't. Then he got chewed out for it. Miller for three. They haven't gotten any of those today. Foul's going to be on Notre Dame. 
Has to be on Lily, only one around. It's on Klotz. Klotz. Yeah, I think they got him shoving a little bit there in the back of 45, Shiley. Hanson. Look at that. Lily stole it away from the referee. Lil and Jeff Daly up and in. Notre Dame can break themselves. Daly with 20. Miller. No, they can't get a three. Can't get the layup. This time they can't get it again. I've never seen so many bodies flying on the floor. Talked about missing their offensive numbers, Gary. How about Miller has to be such a big part of that. 16-9 coming in. This foul's gonna be on Shiley. And it's gonna be right there. Notre Dame up by 13. 29 seconds to go now in the third quarter. The officials having a conversation. Mike Cowden trying to get a little bit longer rest for his starters. This time Notre Dame doesn't get a 10 second violation. Daly, pull up. Daly doesn't go. Cavani can't quite get it high enough on the glass. And the third period comes to a close. Notre Dame 41, 28 for the Trojans. Jeff Daly with 20. Stay with us. Different? It's okay to be different. The Suzuki Ario from Lehigh Valley Suzuki is different. With all the room you're looking for and more standard horsepower than the Toyota Matrix. At $179 a month and a 7-year, 100,000-mile warranty, the Suzuki Ario is America's best value. I'd say that's different. The Suzuki Ario from Lehigh Valley Suzuki on the Lehigh Street Auto Mile. It's okay to be different. Well, that's just weird. Second half brought to you by Lanta Metro. I think we gave you the highlights already. We'll give them to you one more time. $2. That's all day. Seniors ride free, off peak hours. Lanta Metro makes it easy. School work, shopping, doctor's visits, and more. Can't be said any simpler than that. Lanta Metro. At the end of the three quarter mark, Notre Dame with nine turnovers, Upper Dolphin with 15. Rebounds dead even at 20. Lilly off the bench with seven, Mast with five. Upper Dolphin, Shiley six. Miller and Antis four. 42% shooting by the Trojans, 39% by Notre Dame, but the Trojans had no triples. Notre Dame was six. They didn't get any in the third period. And Notre Dame with a 13-point lead. High score is Antis with 12 for Upper Dolphin. And Jeff Daly has 20 as Lilly inside will now have 11 himself. Find the open man. And another steal gets through. McAvoy anticipating. He is something. Eighth turnover of the half. McAvoy trying to get into the triple act. Can't do it. Boy, Lilly ends up with the ball. Huh? Turnover number five. Miller down the floor. Robbie back outside. Can they get a three? They cannot. And Antis got fouled on the play by Lilly. Grabbed his wrist. That's Chad's fourth foul. <laughs> Mm 
Yeah, he had him hit him on his shoulder with that left hand. That'll be uh, the end for Chad for a while as Nathaniel Mast will come in. Upper Dolphin comes in here averaging its wins by 20.2 a game. Not today. No way. To their credit, Gary, there's just nobody inside can battle for pain points. Miller's going to go to the line as Tavani's going to get called for the foul. The entry on the side low. Turn around, foul. They haven't made a foul shot. 0 for 5. Robbie Miller's a 71% free throw shooter. Brings a, a cheer from their audience. Sort of a Bronx yeah. cheer that Dick is used to. being the Yankee fan that he is. Paul Plattenberg playing injured today. Torn meniscus. Got inside. Up and in by Reed Klotz. He has 11. So the big three of Notre Dame. Lily Klotz and Daly with 11, 11, and 20. Antis. They finally get a triple. We see them make convert two foul shots, and now the triple. Maybe the run. That's his sixth of the year. McAvoy will get fouled with good explosion from the wing. And he'll go to the line to shoot a couple. <laughs> Fouls on Shiley. Third of the second half for him. Ryan McAvoy looking for his first point, 77% free throw shooter. And he got it. Our gang will head over to Liberty after this ball game and we'll bring you the Parkland Glen Mills game. Six ball games this weekend. We'll be back at work on Tuesday. Central Catholic boys and Try to figure out where the caddy girls are going to play or the highest tenth boys are going to play. The only real size in the upper Dauphin lineup, Gary, just checked in. Number 33, Christopher Kessler, 6'4", senior. They have a sophomore in Philip Scoop, who's 6'6", but he hasn't seen any action yet. Seen him yet. Number 50. Antis can't get it out of the corner. Out of bounds. It'll be Notre Dame ball. <laughs> player touched it inbounds while he was out of bounds. Well, Pat Boyle really spreads out that offense. It does not let that double occur in the pressure. Great story in the paper this week about Nathaniel Mack. Of course, his dad, Eddie, a great basketball player, died when he was very young, when Nathaniel was very young. Nathaniel, who admittedly was not a very good basketball player at all. And, took up the game and, and sort of fell in love with it. Got some help as uh, Dick, you know, and I know, yeah. you learn to play this game on the playgrounds. You learn to play in the, in the gyms against guys who are better than you are. And that's how Nathaniel learned it. Usually caravans going down to Lafayette gym day and needing to play that thing. And, and Bobby Grecian, Scott Koval, you know, those guys were so instrumental. And, and they always played with Eddie and they told it, they told him they, uh, they not to Daniel Mass along. And they Those continue, games, he yeah. just picked it up. And that continued. As we get a bucket of follow-up by Antis. Ten. T.O. They can cut the lead inside of ten. Maybe less, maybe seven. It doesn't go. And trying to save it, unable to do that. 
Nice gesture there. Give up a very makeable jump shot from the key for a shooter shot from the side. Well, a reminder, a Central Catholic Valley View coming up right after this ball game. Walt Tyndall back at master control all day. As uh, Walt, he holds, he, he gets hold, hold up, hold up, right? H-O-L-E-D. <laughs> no, nobody would hold Walt up. He, he doesn't have enough funds, but he, he, they, we do hold him up at the studio. All right, let's take a look at uh, Notre Dame in action on offense. There's a spacing we talked about, good inside pass. Spread that defense out so much better to avoid that double. And if they aren't a double, then there's more distance to recover. By the way, uh, the head of the Gary Lavac fan club, a, mem a club of one, Andy Weaver, it's Andy's 18th birthday on Tuesday. We wish a happy birthday to him. He's watching us all day today. Shot is missed by Lilly. This Happy one's not over. Andy. This one's not over. And he's coming to, to work with me on Monday. He's going to shadow me around. You better put a lot of gas in, uh, in that tank. Another there makeable is, shot? That was a makeable shot. That one really hurt the Trojans. That's Chad Lilly's 10th rebound of the game. Yeah, considering he's not a starter. Boy, that's a uh, shot that would have been big. Lily's going to go to the line. The foul is on Robbie Miller. What are Miller's numbers, Gary, points wise? Robbie uh, has 10, averaging 17. Yeah, I, th I thought he was a big letdown been, offensively. It's been quiet. It's a quiet 10. Lily only 50% from the free throw line. Doesn't get it. Trojan ball. Big possessions here for Upper Dolphin. Upper Dolphin not back in it yet. They need a spurt. We, they, they really haven't had an offensive spurt, a run. Notre Dame steals it again. Two on one. Daly. No. And they come up empty again to the Trojans. Well, they've had a chance to salt this one away. Miller, no, they can't make the big one either. Another turnover by Notre Dame. Seven of them in this half. Miller. There's Antis. Comes up short. Tap, no. And we're going to get a whistle and a foul on somebody. It's going to be on Upper Dolphin over the top. Oh, that really upset the Upper Dolphin bench. They were waiting for the call, and they certainly didn't anticipate it going that way. See, we can see it again here. Called it on Tavani's back. Hard to tell from that angle. Certainly the uh, Upper Dolphin Trojan, Trojan bench didn't like it. Fourth person on Shiley. The words, are you kidding, were voiced. Danny Tavani is on the board. See if you get a better look. There's the foul right there. That's what was called. I don't know. Again, they're calling it a lot closer than we uh, are normally used to seeing down here. There's Frank. He liked the call. Danny's blue collar. Well, he's the definition of blue collar. Stolen away by Lilly. That's the 11th turnover. You know, they got they got it to 10, Dick, and then were unable to do anything with it. And going down hard is Reed Klotz. Let's hope Reed's okay. He's not. Foul's on Antis. And Reed looks like he's hurting. Oh, wow. Right on his shoulder. Right on his left shoulder.
Wojo out to look. Of course, it should be Klotz who will go to the foul line, but unless Notre Dame calls a timeout, he won't go there. I think they're, they're charging over here at the wrong man to have the personal call on. Yeah, they're saying it shouldn't have been Antis. Uh, maybe we can get another look at it and see who indeed uh, did go under Klotz. Reads up. See if Antis is the guy. Well, it depends on when they blew the whistle, but Antis did reach in. And that's what they called the reach. Now, Klotz can't shoot the fouls. Looks like he hurt his wrist, but he looks like he might be okay. So whoever comes in for Klotz is going to go to the line. Looks like uh, Nathaniel will make it in. And, and he'll go right to the foul line. That's the way, I mean, as long as your teammate's okay. Yeah. If you don't mind coming in going right to shoot two fouls. I was just thinking, boy, I would have... Well, all everybody's looking out there. You put Daly on the bench. You know, and then bring, slip yeah. someone in, make ladies in all the time, and you bring in his shooter. See, Dick cheats better than anyone. <laughs> Last one out of two. be naming our Yakos player of the game at the end of the game and Jeff Daly with 20 points but Chad Lilly with uh, Chad Lilly is a real rebound real. and uh, 11 points Oh Gary their, their three game really deserved them and I believe that's a story the desertion of the three you know which took away a major part of their offense and certainly that Notre Dame defense but in its own way has been most bothersome You're right. I think the Notre Dame man to man bothered them today. That's a layup for Jeff Daly. If they were holding it for layups, Daly with 23. He hurt his talk. He, we were on the fence stick about the Yakos player of the game. So he's got off the fence. Huh? He comes out and nails a triple. Ansis out of the corner. And he's going to get three foul shots. McAvoy is saying, I got pushed into him. He won't win that argument. You know what? Running over here. I think the uh, Antis' own player may, may have committed the foul. They set a screen. McAvoy tries to go over it, and uh, the screener got pushed into Antis. You know what's happening, guy? The, the officials are getting upset too because it really looks bad for them. I was in question as to the shooter. Well, yeah, I mean, I, you know, Antis belongs on the line. Huh. Antis uh, was the guy shooting. All I know, this game's supposed to be over 3.30. It's now 4 o'clock. Take a look at it. It's Antis shooting, and he, get, he gets fouled by his own man. That was, that's the question. But I think Pat thinks that the shooter was somebody else. No, I think the saying the foul was committed on 41. That's the guy I went through. So he's going to be put in the line. Oh, no, the change. Well, then this well, should, the third change, rather. Then this should be a one and one. One and one. One and one. What is this, though? He's going to say, I'm sick of this complaining. You know, this is this is where I think this is where I think if uh, if you wanted to use the TV replay, you certainly certainly should be able to do that. Now let's see if they make the right call here on a one and one. I think they will. I think it's a one and one situation. I don't know for sure. I didn't see anybody give the one and one signal. Yeah, when he come over in front of us, guy, and wave the other one off, right. he one one. And they make one out of two. 
when Lilly picks up his 11th rebound. Red scramble defense. I thought mosquito defense. Foul is going to be on Dietrich. And uh, every time Notre Dame goes to the line now, they'll get the shoot two. McAvoy with the single point. Makes only one out of three now. This one's over, Notre Dame by 16. Unless they can make a whole bunch of those. And a quick timeout as Robbie Miller drains his 13th of the ball game. And we're going to be in a hurry to get out of here. We'll name our Yakos player of the game. And uh, Jeff Daly certainly uh, warrants our Yakos award today. Five triples in the ball game, 23 points. And. Uh, uh, although we're, well, okay, well, we can give it to Chad Lilly, too, because Chad Lilly had himself a great ball game. 11, 11 rebounds for Chad Lilly, along with his 11 points. And, Dick, we're going to go Koyako. Good. That's the Koyako player of the game. Sophomore and a junior, they can battle it out for the, you know, the next one in the, in the next year. We're not hard to please. We do it now uh, because, as we said, our crew has to tear down and get over to Liberty. So uh, we'll get out of here somewhat quickly. I'll try to run down the scoring for you uh, when it's appropriate. Yeah, that's good ball, hand. And we're going to get a foul as uh, Stevani will go to the line. It'll be on Anthony Weaver. Oh, they're going to put Daly on. All right. I thought maybe they, uh, they got Stevani <laughs> on the push. <laughs> Now we get the now we get the complaint down here. I, I, I thought Savannah got fouled. I mean, I know uh, I know uh, Daly had the ball, but I thought they called the foul on. There it is. There's correction. It's been a tough day on the black and white. Jeff Zilli, don't blame me. He gave me the ball. They have a shot at longevity of the year or something with there. They foul Savani after he passes it. Yeah, there's the call. He's looking right there at it. Dick, we're going to need a little rest. <laughs> we won't get it. We have to go right to the game. Oh, man. We've had uh, more conferences with the fish uh, in this one than we had all year. Danny makes one out of two. Minute and a half. We'll get another one. Robbie Miller, same play, same result. An 11 point game. There's a foul. Weaver is fourth. I'll run down the scoring, I'll add to it. As more occurs for Upper Dauphin. 17 for Antis. Miller with 16. Kessler with one. Weaver with seven. And Shiley with two. For Notre Dame. Lilly with 11. Klotz with 11. McAvoy with two. Mast now with five. Looking for his sixth point. Jeff Daly with 23, and Tavani with three. Pass, one out of two. Seems to be the norm for Notre Dame right now. They're eight for 15. Of course, the Trojans only four out of 10 from the foul line. Winner. Notre Dame will play the Reading Central. Remember, Reading Central blew this team away, 56 to 22.
They're going to call this foul on Mass. And Reading Central is only your two uh, two seed out of three. I think so one two look like really competitive teams. Well, now the officials are going to have a conference. Fouls on Dietrich. Dietrich bleeding. He'll come out of the game. And they call the offensive foul. Mass got there. Coming in will be Warner for Dietrich. Leaves with some blood. Poor officials, Gary. They'll have to take a, a hotel room tonight. They'll be going overnight to get back to Williamsport area. <laughs> Mass drops the foul shot. Just trying to stay out of trouble, Dick. Yeah. I'm not going to respond to that. It's a game that will not come to an end. Now's going to be on Tavani. No, I'm sorry. It's going to be on McAvoy. He's fourth. Third. Third? Oh, they changed it. They had him for four up there. Antis will look for his 18th and 19th point. He's back next year, and he'll be looking forward to a thousand points as it looks like he's going to come up shy by 41 at the moment. Needs 41 more. And Notre Dame will go to the line. Foul on Shiley, he's finished. Ends the day with two points. He'll be back next year. Seven rebounds in the game. And Mast again, who has spent some time on the line. Here in the fourth quarter, he's made three out of six. Notre Dame brings in Derek Hafler, 6'1 senior. Averages a couple of points. And again, last one out of two. So Notre Dame's going to continue on this road and prepare for their second interdistrict game next Wednesday. Miller again, no. So we get two through on Saturday. As the Allen game being played right now started at 3 o'clock and Parkland yet to go tonight. And of course the Salisbury boys played today. No score on that one. And the Southern Lehigh girls played today. No score on that one. And Tavani at the line. That Allen game might be completed before this one. I see no end in sight here, Dick. We might have, maybe we should have had our Coatesville crew do the Liberty game. Way outside Antis. On the floor. Outside Miller, battling up, and it drops. Anthony Weaver with nine points. I think we are seeing the end. Notre Dame 58, and the Trojans of Upper Dauphin 47. Richard, a quick final word. Uh, good defense. Take a team from 70.4 uh, average guy and hold them to 47. You're talking 23 point differential from what they usually do. That and of course the abilities to hit the three when they really count it. Daly came up big with the numbers. Lilly came up big off the bench. And very succinct as Dick always is. 
as the 47 points by the Trojans on 19 field goals, three triples, six for 12 from the foul line. Double figure scoring out of Antis, who had 19, and Robbie Miller, who had 16. For Notre Dame, as Upper Dolphin finishes 25 and four. For Notre Dame, they're 58 points on 20 field goals, seven threes, 11 for 21 from the foul line. Double figures out of Daly with 23, Klotz and Lilly with 11 apiece. And again, just a reminder, we are going to head over to Park, over to Liberty. We'll have Parkland and Glenn Mills coming your way live at 7 o'clock. So my thanks, as always, to the RCN4 sports team. Rick Gio has been our director, to Dick Tracy, Paul Plattenberg, for their assistance, and to all of you for spending time with us. A reminder, Central Catholic boys coming up after this ball game, a replay of last night's game against Valley View. And then, of course, we have Parkland, and then we have Allen. So we've got two more yet to come. Uh, and one from last night yet, so three more actually yet to come. So for all of us, thanks for watching. I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.